right now there's a, a real epidemic of depression and loneliness and real su with suicide with men. Uh, obviously the most likely thing to kill me at my age in my mid 40s is myself. I'm Nathan Leverton and I'm the head coach and owner of Leicester Shoot Fighters. Combat sports training can offer a lot of benefits for mental health. A lot of people find us when they're at a crossroads in their life, so it's not uncommon for someone to come to us when um, there's been uh, like a breakup or a change in jobs or maybe recovering from an injury or a health issue and people want to make a change in their life. I've always suffered with chronic health issues and they've sometimes kept me off the mat not being able to train myself, which is why I became more of a coach. Um, I would love to be able to train more and when I have, that's had a, a massive benefit for me physically and mentally. But staying in the sport through coaching allows me to still kind of access some of those things and also provide it for others as well. Think of what you would do against that lead leg team, okay? The lead leg weapon. That, that weapon and that weapon are the ones that are nearest to you, okay? So let's have some defenses while we're, while we're doing offense, okay? If you said to somebody um, with depression, like, we're going to look at all the different things we could do for you, uh, the, the, the advice you would give someone, and it would include exercise and stress relief and um, being around people with, who are positive and with goals and maybe physical touch and lots of different things that we can provide all within just the training. So um, although it can improve your overall physical health, um, I think there's huge mental health benefits to training. Lots of people come here for different reasons and we have a mission statement to try and be able to help all these people achieve their different goals. So we try and make the training safe and we try and make it progressive and we try and make it fun. It can be quite difficult to get across a single message to everybody. You know, people are going to take different things away from the classes. Um, just because everybody's on the same session doesn't mean they're all having the same session. You know, some people are going to bring stuff from outside in on the session. We try and encourage people as much as they can to leave things at the door so we can kind of keep a nice high level during the whole class and everyone can get something out of it. We had a student and he shared that on the way to the gym, sometimes he comes to the crossroad, literal crossroad, and he thinks, well, I can turn and I can go home or I can turn and go to the gym. And he knows going to the gym might be a bit difficult. You know, it might challenge his ego a little bit. It might challenge him physically. And he knows the easy route would be to go home. And he shared with the class that, you know, sometimes he has to take a breath when he's at those lights and go, you know what, if I go this way, it might be a little bit of a harder road when I get there, but I'm going to get something out of it, okay? And I'm going to have achieved something more that day. So he makes that turn. Sometimes at the end of the class, we'll sit everyone down and have a little chat and use the training that we've done as an example for maybe like overcoming obstacles or so something that we think might help them. Yeah.